Most people will tell you that you want to retire or plan on retirement at 65, sometimes even 60. I'm going to show you in my next video why that is not a good idea. In fact, retirement is not a good idea. And if you want to live longer, you don't do it. Again, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. And today I'm going to be speaking about a very important subject that I'd like you to really take to heart, and that is why you should never, never retire. That doesn't mean you don't change careers or that you don't have um, a hopes and plans and wishes for the latter part of your life, but the idea that you retire is not valuable to you, and I'm going to point out why. When a soul is coming in, there is a um, lifespan of approximately 120 years, which we do not honor, and we haven't yet. But we are conditioned to retire. This is what has been set up by our society, sort of man-made, uh, particularly around the time of the Great Depression, when lifespan was about 67. So we retired at 65, and that has stuck, and it's stuck through corporate uh, companies in America, uh, particularly in America, although some Times you'll find countries overseas that are retiring even earlier. And some positions will have you coming out of the market at 55, which is nuts. But nevertheless, if you think about it, your middle life is at 60, not at retirement. So we want to have a plan for what we're going to do from, from 60 to 30. Now, the interesting thing is we all come in with ideas of what we want to do. And then we about the time we hit about 30, we're starting to travel out into the world and we have plans, maybe I'm going to be a coder, uh, maybe I'm going to be a graphics designer, um, all these kinds of things. We don't think of what are we going to do for the second half of our life from 60 to 90. We don't even think about what are we going to be doing? Am I going to be coding for 30 years? Am I going to be a banker for 30 years? I doubt it. So we need to really advance and increase in our awareness and this is part of the reason why by the time you reach midpoint, you're much more integrated than you were when you were 30. So this is uh, a real, real important get to, all right? And we want to have that for a lot of other reasons too. And that is the fact that the body needs to have a purpose to stay. And what happens to several people, you'll hear this anecdotally, you'll hear that people, well, they retired and with a year they were dead. I have someone who was a postal delivery person and within a year he was dead, he died of a heart attack. And I just heard of another person who two months after retiring died, dropped dead. So this, you know, the body is saying to you, what are you going to use me for? And do I have a purpose and why should I stay? Because reality is the body doesn't have a lot of purpose to re pro you know, procreate for female probably past 45 and for the male as that diminishes as well. So why should the body stay? So you need to give it a purpose. You need to give it a wish, a dream, a goal. You need to use it wisely. Of course, we've been using it wisely for six years, haven't we? Or have we burned out? And then a lot of people, they just plan on retirement when they can finally get out of a job that they've just tolerated or they're in a contractual arrangement, say, with a government job where they know they're going to get X, Y, Z if they stay a certain number of years. So it's like divine uh, discontent. We'll put up with it because we know we're going to retire and we're going to get this pension and we're going to get this. Well, the, I have news for you. Pensions are moving away and we will be diminishing pensions over the next 10 to 15 years that a lot of people won't be getting any pensions unless they have done it all in their own 401k, and that will be a question as well. So getting on and moving forward, you want to have a plan to be productive. If you can, create another income stream from 60 to 90. You definitely want to plan on working, whether it is in a voluntary position, okay, or whether you do volunteer and work and travel, but you have a plan, a goal, a wish, a dream. It isn't just, well, let's see what happens because you're so burned out from working so many years at a job that you basically allowed to burn you out. So we always want to have an interest and we want to have these 30 years 
really productive in your soul's growth. And the other thing is to around 63, the soul is traveling on every seventh birthday, it goes through the soul cycle. Well, a complete cycle of those is nine, one through nine. So that is 63. So the magic period to program in what you really want to do and be doing for the next 30 years is from 60 to 63. Because it's 63, whether you realize it or not, your soul is making the decision, okay? Do I want to revert back to childhood or do I want to continue growing on this journey? And if you revert back to childhood by making no decision, you're just allowing the, the, the winds of fate take you along, okay? If you revert back to childhood, you will become more childlike. And what that means is you can become more of what we'll call dependent, is one reason. Uh, also begin to check out in diseases such as dementia, Alzheimer's, uh, degenerative diseases like arthritis, things like that which will limit your movement and eventually some people wind up in complete care where they have to be fed, watered, and changed. Just like a child, we actually even become hairless and so we don't want that if we can plan accordingly and take care of the physical body before 60. So those who are in their 40s or 30s, you need to think, you're not retiring, okay? It's going away anyway. And that's one area. And then you want to take a look at the example of Bill Gates. Um, he's come out, well not he, but Netflix has come out with Inside Bill's Brain. Phenomenal series, I think it's only like three or four parts, well worth your view. And what you find out, uh, Bill Gates will be 64 this November, and he's already been very accomplished with his Microsoft, but he's going on with the second half of his life, and he has done um, years and raising money to eradicate polio, and years and raising money to place toilets in third, fourth developed countries, and now is working on an improvement in nuclear energy. And he just basically says, I want to make sure I have enough time and I'm not sure I will. And so this is how we want to go in our lives. We don't have to go out and put toilets in fourth world countries or you know, eliminate polio. But in our own way, we want to have that gold wish and dream. And when we finish one dream, we want to go on to the next. So that our body says, boy, am I glad I'm here. I'm being used well, wisely, and productively. Extremely important. We don't want to create the childhood diseases and revert back to childness where we are fed, bathed, and cleansed, taken care of for the remaining years of our life. It's very, very important. So kind of take this into consideration, whether you're 30 or whether you're 50 or whether you're 70, if you're 75, get in gear and do a five-year plan now, okay? So that five years out, what is the lifestyle you wanna have? What are you doing day to day when you get up in the morning? What's your view out of your window? And you wanna start planning, taking better care of yourself now and move, move. The body wants to move, okay? Think of it as a fine resource, and when it gets older, you take even better care of it. All right, so these are little tidbits on why you should never, ever retire. It's a different way of thinking, but I hope that you will do that. And again, always, thank you for listening to me, and I look forward to our next YouTube video. Thank you again for watching. If you enjoy my videos, I'd love to have you like it or subscribe. That would be great. And if you need more information, I do have a book called Divine Design how you created the life you're living, which will explain some of the information I have talked about on my YouTube channel. And there also is the opportunity for you to have a private session with me with the link below. You can go to my website, that's all there. For you, those of you in the Midwest and Chicago, I'm going to be there October the 6th, doing a workshop from one to four, and you can check out my website to get more information. Always thank you, I know your time is valuable. I appreciate your sharing it with me.